Welcome to EDC Pals with the Modern Pirate Lord. We have an awesome unboxing today, folks. I have a great little collection here from Umathorb. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, first thing I wanted to start off with, Umathorb, you've done an amazing job here, my friend. And I do appreciate you helping me out with getting some of the items. This is going to be a big joy here to unbox a few of them. Just a heads up, folks, there's about six items all together, so it's going to be a little... Not quite rushed, but going to give you a little quick um, view of the items and then give you a quick storyline with them. And damn hang, thanks you for joining in, buddy. I appreciate it. But just to give you a heads up here on the first start, um, this is his coffee. I haven't tried it yet. Going to actually do a, a little quick vid when I do the setup for it. And Black Bones, thank you for jumping in, bud. But yeah, uh, just to give you an idea, he did actually, I thought this was just a small bag worth. It's an 8 ounce bag. So it's a good amount. You're going to get a few cups out of it. And then I'm actually going to try it out for Pirate Samuel's coffee jar. So it's like the perfect little mixture here. So we'll see how that's going to go for it. But yeah, that's his Sumatra whiskey coffee, 8 ounce. And I'm not sure if he still has any left. If not, um, more likely he's probably going to come out with another blend. But other than that, we're going to find out what that's going to taste like. Alright, now that should give you an idea here. On what he sent he gave us a whole bunch of little items here to check out so it should be a blast these here are his maple smoke cashews I've already heard these are pretty good I'm kind of excited to try these out my buddies at work are one try out the coffee and the cashews I told him I had to do the video for you all today so we're gonna get that done first but yeah those are also from moving forward oh, here we go that way in case anybody's one the curious about the ingredients yeah, it's better from the side. Maple syrup, smoked paprika, Jackson Flake salt, and warning addictive. And Zach stuff, thank you for joining, bud. I appreciate it. All right, so let's get to the first thing that I fall in love with, and that is Umathor Zippo lighter. Now, I even checked with the camera here. There we go. Found a little sweet spot so I knew I could get this zoomed in for you guys. He did a beautiful job. I found out it was um, basically a version 2 that he has. So he has a couple other ones that are out there, and this is number 14. But yeah, it, what's nice, it's on both sides. It says Umathorb down the side there, which I just love. And then you even have a little little one right on the top. Which, come on, zoom for me. There we go. Yeah, this right now is my favorite. I've been wanting a custom lighter for a good while. And I mean, you're talking about perfect every time. And with Orby, you did a beautiful job on this. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm, let's see here. Yeah, the All-American Maker was the one that helped out with this. And I mean, talk about some beautiful work. It's definitely going to, I can't wait for this to patina out. Yeah, that's going to be nice. So I've been very curious because on the inside, it's great. I haven't had an issue. This was even tight, so I had to loosen up just a tad bit, which no issue at all. And it is an authentic Zippo. No issues there. That was able to verify. It does come with the Zippo box. I mean, this thing's just beautiful. He did a great job. And the Bearded Ninja, thank you for jumping in. I appreciate it, buddy. But yeah, that's a Zippo lighter. Version 2, number 14 out of that. Let's go figure. There we go. Now, the other items here I have not opened. So, we're going to find out what we're going to get into here a little bit. This right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Black Bones, he did a beautiful job on that Zippo. Hopefully, I can leave it like right there. Perfect. Yeah, this, I'm thinking, is one of his last beads. I'm hoping for. So I got another little pharaoh I'd like to toss it on. Let's take a look see here if I can even get the package open. Yes, it is. One of his beads. Man, that one's highly polished. I love that thing. Yeah, this is one of Umathorb's uh, beads. They are a dual slotted hole, which makes it great for doing like paracord wine, stuff like that. Um, also great for adjustments. I mean, this, I got it on a few of them. This is my third bead so far. And I mean, I can't help it. I, they're just amazing. Now, that's the dark side. 
And then this is his light side. And with Orb, thank you so much for these. And Power Goods, he also has a couple of them. So, I mean, you mix them both together. Oh, man. Great little blend. I can't wait to add this into the ne new collection. And with Orb, thank you for this, buddy. This is awesome. Love that little thing. Yeah. Little hummingbird on that design with the skeleton. That is perfect. He does a great job on these. There you go. Nice and clear. Alright. That's our first little package there that he has. That was the Umathor bead. I'm not sure when they're coming back in stock. If they're limited, I may save this one for a giveaway. But we'll have to see how that turns out. And I already love how it's getting some spotting already. That's perfect. Alright. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. What's nice about Umathor's packages, they all come in a nice little tear wrap. So it makes it easy. Alright, let's see. Oh, yep. All the nice little papers. Always making a mess. Ooh. What's this here? Oh, please tell me this is it. Oh, that is awesome. I was very curious about this. Oh, wow. Uma Thorpe, you did beautiful, buddy. That's one side. As you flip it, that's the other. That's a beautiful work. I love how he did his etching work. The colors on that is tremendous. This is just awesome. I'm hooked. I love how this works out. Oh, man. Umathor, thank you so much for this, buddy. This is amazing. I've not seen anything like that. That's now my fourth bird for the collection. Oh, man, that is cool. I can't wait to show some people at the office this. So I was happy to do this unboxing. This is just amazing. I didn't, get, I didn't know this was in there today. Got one side, and you got the next. Even though we did an amazing job on this, my friend. This is beautiful. Oh, man. That's going to be definitely a treasure to keep. All right, let's check out our next one here. This one feels like a coin. I'm not missing. Ah, yes, the treasure coin. This is what I've been after. Perfect. Make sure I don't get all this everywhere. That's what happened to me last time. There we go. Now we're all good. All right, folks. Here we got the uh, Treasure Now coin. Carry daily, journey often. Oh, man. I've been waiting to get this. Best thing is, is they have an awesome little card. And it's Daily Walk EDC that actually came up with the coin and everything. Uh, Uma Thorpe is the one that helped him uh, sell it out and uh, get it to the audience themselves. And I mean, Daily Walk, you did a beautiful job, my friend. And Uma Thorpe, thank you so much. This is one of the coins I've been trying to get a hold of, but I've been having a little bit of a rough time. And thankfully, Uma Thorpe, he hooked me up. And this is the why. Hopefully I can get it perfectly in the camera for you all. Because this is just one of my favorites right now. And I do have a coin slip coming from uh, or Knox Craft right now for this one. It should be a white one here soon. But yeah, he did, or Daily, he did a beautiful design on this. I love that compass out on the outside and then the treasure X on the back. That is just awesome. This is going to be great for the collection now. And journey often indeed. And again, that's by Daily Walk EDC. Um, Uma Thorpe helped him sell these. Great little coin. Or it's little, I should say. Yeah. That's actually a good size coin. I think it's a 1.75, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful. All right, we got two more items, folks. 
We'll go ahead and keep continuing onward and get to these. Ooh, these feel like they might be his dice. Now these, I'm, I'm in love with these. I had a game where I needed three dice and I only got two, so now I got my third. Let's see here. Not gonna cause a mess again. There's one. And there's two. There we go. Yeah, Umathor's dice are just awesome. I love the flowers on them with the hummingbird. It is like the perfect little design for them. You're not expecting it on the poker table, and it definitely catches attention very quickly, especially with the color. And then you mix that in with the treasure coin. Oh, that's going to be awesome. One with the Zippo. That's the thing that's going to be great. The Zippo and the dice are now going to match at the game. That is just a perfect little combo. Uma Thor, thank you so much, buddy. This is awesome. Wow. Now, the dice, if I'm not mistaken, are out of stock. So, I'm not sure if they're coming back in yet. But knowing Umathorpe, he has amazing talents. Be surprised what he can come up with. Or, bring back anything that he needs to. Now, this one feels like his coin. And I've been curious about this. We're going to pass the paper. Ooh, yes. I wanted to show that side first. Yeah, so this is his new coin. Brass version, of course. He does have a copper one I'm looking into. And man, is this thing thick. Whoa. And that is just beautiful. Umathorpe, you did a great job on this one, buddy. I love this. Oh, wow, that is just... That feels great. I mean, literally, I feel smooth as can be. Yeah, it's a thick boy, Black Bones. I'm not kidding. Like, that thing is... I mean, just to give you a good comparison here. Yeah, that right there gave you a good idea of how thick this thing is. And I mean... For size-wise, it's not too much smaller on that size. But man, the weight to that. Oh, it feels great. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it's an actual maze on the back here that you can get through. That is just cool. Inventory did a great job on this, buddy. Man. Now I'm... Uh, yeah, I probably have to get the copper version now. So I didn't know they were that thick. I thought it was just a regular design. This is cool. It's got some it's got some heft to it too. Oh yeah, she's a flipper. There's no doubt to that. Definitely a flipper. Umithor, that is just beautiful, buddy. That okay, we've got to see. Oh, yeah. Right, Black Bones? That maze design is just awesome looking. I'm trying to give you all a good close-up there. So, I mean, he did a beautiful job on this. I mean, with how thick that is, I'm just really surprised by that. I mean, even his birds have some thickness, but I mean, just to give you an idea, it's almost equal. Oh, man, with those there. Oh, God, that's perfect. Umithorb, you did a beautiful job here, my friend. You really did. Thank you so much for the amazing items. And Zippo is still my favorite. But this right here is coming second close. I have been wanting a Zippo for a good long while that was custom made. Or, you know, at least with, had some significance to it, as I would like to say. And... I could not have asked for anything better. This is just amazing right here. I love this. And then include this with it, along with the bird. Oh, just amazing. Just that little collection right there is just top notch. And with Orb, I really do thank you for that. 
Well, folks, that's the end of our Uma Thorb unboxing. We're not trying to stretch them out too long. That way we can keep the videos a little bit short and keep more coming. We do have a unboxing coming from All American Makers that has some special items in it from them. So that's going to be an exciting one. I'm hoping to pull that off on Wednesday for you. I'll try to do it around 8 p.m. again if I can. If not, we'll go ahead and push it off for Friday. There are a couple things coming from Mod Hanks and from Stash Salt. So if you haven't checked them out yet, definitely do. I've been using his stuff for the past month and I love it. I mean, if you're somebody that has like allergies or anything like that, no problems at all. And I mean, if you're looking for something that is natural stuff, it's working great. You get to support firefighters. And on top of that, he does some amazing gear. So I mean, mix that in with Umathorpe stuff. Can't complain. Great little combo. Well, folks, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Again, check out Umathorpe when you can. Um, great artist. Amazing work that he does. And honestly, just a saint. That's literally to the truth. Thanks again, Umathorpe. This is beautiful. I hope you all have a wonderful night.